All right, guys. Well, we're out here this morning. Had storms come through yesterday. It was too wet for me to do anything around the house. So I headed. Took about an hour, hour and 15 minute drive. Come up here to the uh, foothills of the Ozarks. And uh, out here seeing if I can find some morels today. Just spending the day out in nature. <clears throat> and uh, found my first one right here. Pretty good size one. We're just going to take our time now. We're going to look around, see if we can spot any more. I'm not seeing any as of right now. But anyway, I thought I'd bring you guys along, let you tag along. Uh, I've just started hunting morels this year. This is about my, my fourth outing. I found probably, I don't know, maybe six or seven so far. I'm hoping today I can uh, find quite a few up here. But we're just going to... We're going to walk around up here and explore a little bit and see what we come across. All right, guys. It's been a little bit for number two. I've been out here probably 45 minutes walking around. And uh, that, that first one came pretty quick. And then right here's my second one. Just now saw it. I'm going to look around here a minute and look for some more. I like to really, once I find one, I really like to concentrate and look and try to pick up some others. All I'm doing is walking this little creek here. Uh, I circled around the woods where I found that first one. I uh, didn't spot any more, so now I'm just walking down the edge of this creek. I'm gonna walk down one side and then back up the other. <clears throat> found this little guy hiding underneath this tree right here. We're just gonna reach down here and paint him off. And, uh, Look around here and see if we can't spot some more. All right, here we go, guys. So right there, right there underneath that log is where we just found that one. And look right up here on this side. We've got a small one right there. And there's another one hiding right up there. So we're going to take our time here a minute and, and really, really look around this down log here and see if we can't pick up some more. Right, see another one right here, guys. We're just right down from where we found those other ones. <laughs> Got a little worm crawling on it there. We'll get them cleaned up before we cook them. Look right here. Right here's another one. Oh, I see another one right over here, guys. We're going to be about a week early on these. I'm going to go ahead and pick a few. I'm going to do a, a um, pick and cook video with this, hopefully. I'm going to go ahead and pick a few of these since I'm out here. Maybe cook some of them up here in a little bit. And... Uh, we may wait and come back in a few more days. Let this sun pop out. We got some more rain coming tomorrow and then end of the week supposed to be sunny and I may get back out here this weekend and let them grow a few more days and get a little bit bigger. But I'm gonna go ahead and walk down through here some more and try to try to see if we can't spot and find a few more down through here. Now here's another one guys. A little small one. We're gonna leave it. Let it get a little bit bigger. The first one we found was pretty good size. I was hoping they were all going to be that size, but that's the way it is sometimes. We're going to ease on down through here and see if we might can find some bigger ones. Right up here's another one, guys. All right here. Well, we'll go ahead and leave it. Let it get a little bit bigger. That last one we found up against the trees just right here on our side of this tree here. There's going to be several down through here. We're just going to have to give it about another another week to 10 days and let them get a little bit bigger. Show you this too, guys. Now, when you're out here, of course, I'm just getting started. So I, I've got a lot more to learn on hunting morels. But 
everyone says look for signs, you know, certain type of tree, uh, rotted trees, tree bark falling off, you know, ash, uh, different trees. But so far, one thing I've noticed that really lines up for me is, is these guys. I believe these are called Devil's Trumpet. And whenever I find these, a lot of these Devil's Trumpets, it seems like the morels are pretty close too. I usually find some morels. So anytime I see those, I'll slow down and try to try to look around a little bit more and can usually spot some morels. So far, I'm not seeing any. But uh, it's going to take a loop around this this down tree right here and see if we might can I can see some popping up. All right, guys, right here's what we've been looking for and hoping for. Look right underneath them limbs right there. And that's what we want right there, big old morel. Maybe. There we go, guys. That's a that's a good size on there, a big meaty one. This is this is what we want to find. So hopefully we can pick up some more of these and we'll have us a good cook here in a little bit. Alright, see a big bunch right over here, guys. <clears throat> bunch of about five of five or six of them right there they're good size ones like we're wanting all right they're starting to they're starting to get pretty soft so uh, we'll get them picked and get them washed off here in a little bit here's two more right here they're already probably past the point of being gone I can get a little bit of a little bit of good ones there. So, all right, I'll throw these here in my bag, and just I'll just carry a mesh bag, guys. And drop these down in here. Get to looking for some more. Out there's definitely our prettiest one yet. Go slow, guys, when you're out here. This one right here, if I'd have took another step, I would have stepped on it. Until it's just it's covered up really good by a leaf. Uh, you can see the top end of it. That's a good one there. So, uh, just go slow. Slow down. Especially once you find some, go really slow. It's going to be another good one right there. Not hardly as fat as that other one we found, but it's it's it's, it's a pretty one there. But we're just going to ease on around here and see if we can't pick up a few more of them here. All right, look here, guys. I've been looking low down under here. almost missed this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and grab him. He's, he's not a huge one, but pretty decent size one. If we'd have been going quick looking low, we'd have walked right past him and not looked up and saw him in time. So... Slow and steady wins the race, right? There's another one of those devil's trumpets right here on the ground. And right over here is where I showed you that bunch of them more ago. So that's always a good thing for me to slow down. This right here is that group I showed you earlier. And we just made a loop around this, this, this big pile right here and picked all those bigger mushrooms, bigger ones we found. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a second loop around it just to make sure I didn't didn't miss any. This may be the only chance I get to get some bigger ones. I don't think I picked any up on this side of the pile at all when I first walked around. I think they were all on that back side. So that's going to be going to be where it's shaded most of the time. This is probably full sun here, our biggest part of the day sun. Alright guys, I see two small ones right up here. And we're just 
Right there is that pile we just walked around. I'm just easing down the edge of this side of this, and I see two of them. Two little ones right up here. Right there. They're both pretty small, so we're just going to keep them in the back of our mind, and when we come back in a few days, we'll, uh, we'll see if they hadn't grown any and pick them then. All right, guys, so right here's those two. Those two small ones we just found. I just a few more steps up here and I can see one peeking right up here. On the side of this hill. Hopefully you guys can see him up there. He, we've got a pretty good mess to uh to cook, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave him right there with hopes that we're gonna find some bigger ones down through here in a minute. And if we do, uh, that'll give us a good mess to cook today. All right, there's one right there I'm seeing. A little gray. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, right here's another one. Right here under this one. We're going to go ahead and grab these two. While we're here. There we go, guys. It turned out, took us a while, about at least a good 45 minutes to an hour before we, before we figured out where they were at. But it looks like we found a few now. Gonna have a mess. There's one hiding under a limb right here, guys. Look like a pretty decent one. Alright guys, so I've been walking, walk this creek all the way down. I just, I come back up this little uh, drainage into this really low spot and I kind of got my attention. So I slowed down and walking through this little marshy area. Look right over here. Right over here on the side of it is the biggest one yet. Look at there, as big as my hand. So, ooh, that's a pretty one there. Perfect shape, good and meaty, not rotted. And we're gonna get it put in the bag. I see another one right up here, guys. Not hardly as big, but it's a good one too. We're gonna grab it. Oh, there's another one. We're gonna grab this one. Oh, I see another one over there, guys. We just, just hit the jackpot here. So there's four, one more there. I almost guarantee you there's gonna be some more right here on this edge. And we're gonna take our time and loop around in here a little bit and uh, try to spot some more of these guys. And there guys, so right over there, right over there is where we just found those, those four mushrooms. And I just made a loop all the way around the edge of this bowl so far, I haven't seen any more. So what I'm gonna do is just ease on up here and make a little wider loop and go up to the ridge of this bowl and walk it all the way around and just make maybe two or three circles around this this spot right here and see if we might can pick up pick up another mess of them. And I'll check back in with you guys if I find some more. All right, guys. So I was just right over here and I just I just come around this corner. You know, I'm gonna go up just a little bit higher. And right as I'm climbing this embankment, I can see two right here in front of me. So we got these two right here. There's two smaller ones right over there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab this bigger one right here. Since we've got quite a few, I'm gonna go ahead and leave these other ones. Let them get a little bit bigger when we come back in here. We'll come back over here and, and grab these these when they're bigger. So we're going to ease on around the top edge of this embankment and see if we can't spot some more maybe. All right, guys. So we're, we're on a third trip now, basically making our perimeter wider every time we walk around this spot right here. And there's a gray hiding, hiding right here underneath this leaf. He's still pretty small, so we're going to leave him. 
we're gonna leave him. Just throw a couple sticks up right here so when I come back I'll notice that uh, maybe help me help me spot him again. But we're just gonna continue making our loop, our wider loop, and as long as we keep seeing mushrooms, we'll keep making wider loops. And uh, hopefully we can run across some more of those big ones. All right, guys, so those poly rats on back over here, and we just followed. It's actually a little side creek off of that big one that we first walked down. And I'm just walking up this little side creek here. And this is the first one that I found here. A decent sized one there. And we're just gonna ease on up this creek a little bit farther. I'd almost decided to turn around and go back to that big creek and walk it up whenever I spotted this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and ease on up here a little bit farther and uh, see if we might can I can spot a few more, but you can tell there we've got a pretty good mess. Yeah, I just got this mesh sack uh, zip tied to this cane, and I, I don't usually carry a walking stick and stuff, but it's it's become it's really handy. I may even get me a taller stick uh, next time I'm out beaver trapping. I'll watch for me a good beaver chew stick and uh, turn that into a walking cane for me for out here doing this. But it's really helpful. We need to lean in or on these rocks down in these creeks. We just now run across our next mushroom that we found. Right here, a decent size one. We're gonna go ahead and gonna go ahead and grab it. And we're just gonna ease on up, ease on up here watching both sides of this creek for a pretty good ways up here, and then we'll come back and we'll take this little side chute, head back up that way, and we're just, just walking these little little drainages watching the sides and uh, picking up a few as we go. So uh, hang tight, there's another one hiding out here. I just saw it guys, really blends in, another gray. I'm just gonna take a second and look right here. Pretty good and see if we might can see some more. Yeah guys, there's what we're looking for right there. Dandy one, dandy one. A snail there hanging on to him. But uh, right there is what we want, guys. The dude's a good size one. So we're just going to ease down through here and, and keep looking. All right, guys. Got some more of the devil's trumpet right here. And then right over here at the side is another gray. So when you see those guys, pay attention. And it's really, really only one of the correlations that seems to be to be working for me. But uh, just when I see those guys, I just pay attention. And it seems to be morels pretty close to them too. But, uh, all right, guys. So there's what we that's what we got at this first place. And we left that many or more that were smaller. We'll come back in a week and pick those up. Got some pretty pretty good size ones there. And uh, I'll make a couple of good meals. But uh, I'm going to load up now and uh, head over head over this other property. And we'll check it, see if we can find any in there. Hopefully have some more this afternoon. Yeah, wind's kind of picked up now, guys, and uh, we found this little spot down in this in this uh, drainage system, and uh, we're gonna cook us some lunch. It's lunchtime. So we just got our um, some mushrooms that we caught. We uh, foraged this morning. That's some of the bigger ones that were starting to kind of rot. So we'll get them going. And I just got a little package of butter here and a little bit of flour. Got my Prima stove. We're gonna get it lit up and get that butter melted and. Uh, can of pork and beans to go with them and uh, we're gonna have us some lunch all right guys all we're gonna do is take these uh take these mushrooms these bigger ones we're gonna cut them into thirds just gonna look at them make sure there's no uh, bugs crawling around in them Clean them up best you can if you want to. 
I'm not too concerned with it. Those worms and bugs are just, just more protein, right? These smaller ones, guys, we'll just cut them in half, right down the middle. These are actually pretty clean. I haven't seen a worm in one of them yet. Alright guys, so while that's doing, we're going to get our, get our pan on here, get our butter melting. All right, butter's melting. We're going to take these mushrooms and just uh, cover them in flour pretty good. We'll just take these smaller ones and drop right down in there. much for getting out of that wind. That wind's blowing right through here, almost blowing up. Blowing up the flame now. See the wind. Remedy that just a little bit. There it goes. We got it all floured now. We're just waiting for that butter to, butter to finish melting there. throw some of these dudes on there. doing guys we just wanted a good golden brown on both sides You can tell they're starting to starting to thin down a little bit. I'll go ahead and flip this one over. There's perfect.
yeah it's got a nice golden brown all around the edge of that thing that's what we're looking for we'll flip these over one more time see what the other side looks like oh yeah those right there are done flip that one over one more time yeah this is that big one that was that was just almost too far gone but they're gonna give them give them a chance anyway I'm going to go ahead and pull these three off of here. All of them are going to be good. I'm going to throw us a little bit more butter in there. We're going to get the rest of those on there and get them cooking. See what these dudes taste like guys there's really not if you hadn't ever ate a morel there's really nothing to compare them to nothing to compare them to at all uh, It's just a not really a meaty it's just a fulfilling full I don't I don't know how to I really don't know how to explain it I don't know how to compare it to but it's just a taste all its own it's a texture all its own it's uh it's good if you haven't ever tried one you need to uh, hard to beat but anyway guys I'm gonna get the rest of these cooked up and uh Enjoying my time just sitting here out here in nature. All right, I got our last bunch on there, guys. I'm just sitting here trying to think of how to describe. How to describe a, the taste of a moral mushroom, morel mushroom. You know, only thing I can come up with is if you got a fish fillet and you got a steak, and then somewhere right in the middle is a morel mushroom. You got that meatiness, thickness, texture of it, and then the taste is just just right there too. There's nothing else like it. Really good. I like it. Guys, if you had never had one, go out, go out in your neck of the woods, see if you can find some and uh, cook them up. I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. Even if you don't like the taste, you're gonna enjoy the time you got to spend out here in nature, looking for it and all this beauty. guys well I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these cooked up I'll show you what these look like when this last bunch gets done and I'm gonna sit here and relax enjoy them I'm gonna go see if I can find some more these right here are just about perfect that golden brown on them they're gonna be a little bit crispy on the outside center's gonna be just right Oh yeah. So I'm gonna get these out of, out of that pan and then we're gonna let the rest of these cook up. Alright. Get these off of there. Oh yeah, that's, that's perfect right there, guys. only thing it's missing that I like with them is a little bit of salt but I tell you it's hard to beat 
it's hard to beat this right here really honestly all right guys i'm gonna let them last few pieces there cook well i enjoy these right here Ooh. let them cool off a minute we'll give them a try all right guys let's give this thing give this one out here a go yeah crunchy on the outside inside is just meaty i mean more l flavor definitely original and good you guys give it a go all right guys i've watched walk this creek for a pretty good ways i'm gonna say at least a quarter mile and haven't found the first morale yet uh, there's a ground spring just right up here about where you can see as far as you can see up here where the water's at there's a ground spring coming out right there so this part of the creek will have uh, water in it year-round unless that spring goes dry but right here i just found the first first morel and it, it's not just a huge one but it's a little gray right here so i was beginning to kind of give up but i knew this spring was down here and i wanted to walk a little bit where the water stays running in here i think that's key uh, so we're just going to ease on down through here and see if we can pick up a few more and then we're going to come ease our way back up it and we'll check any side any if there's any water coming in on any sides we'll, we'll check on those walk up those uh, branches and uh just going to enjoy our day out here guys so stick with me and i'll show you some more if we get them all right guys not finding many morels here but i just ran up on this pretty neat let me Trying to figure out what it might be. <clears throat> if there's a foundation for a for a little sleeping shack at one time, or seems awful big, a lot of work for a fire pit. But I believe it's some kind of foundation, old foundation for a house or a tent or or something at one time. But I'd say at one time somebody somebody stayed right here for a little while. It could be Indians or Cowboys or even farther back than that. But uh, you guys let me know what you think. Pretty neat. If I wouldn't have been out here hunting morels, I wouldn't have run across this. But uh, I don't know. Kind of leaning more toward a foundation. Just about long enough for someone to lay down in there. And it could have had a had a stick top at one time maybe or canvas top i don't know They're pretty neat i'm gonna look around here in just a minute and see if i can find any artifacts laying around and i'm gonna keep on looking for some morels all right guys the one morel's all we found at this property and we just found that old shack or that old rock wall i don't believe it's a fire pit uh it's it's not 150 yards from that natural spring i'm wondering if maybe it's an outlaw hideout at one time or or something i just won't ever know but i'm just easing back up to the truck and i noticed the trapper in me noticed this right here if you guys can see it there something's making a made a den sure has kicked a lot of dirt out of that hole almost makes me think it might be a a coyote or a fox den right here's a track and a track I do believe it's a coyote and that rain that we got that heavy rains really distorted them and i can't just tell too much but uh i think this is going to be a coyote den 
looking right here on the edge for some hair. That's just a piece of root, not really seeing any hair. But I'm gonna I almost bet that's a coyote. You guys let me know what you think. I don't know if you can see them tracks right there or not. But I'm pretty pretty sure that's what that is. Sometimes they'll have more than one entrance. I'm looking around. I'm not seeing anything else here. But uh, I don't really get up here to this property and trap much. It's pretty good ways from the house. Well, we deer hunt it mostly. But uh, let me bring some traps with me next time I come up to deer hunt. And I'll remember this spot right here and come check it out. But uh, anyway, guys, I may use on out to the truck. And if I see anything else interesting, I'll show you on the way. If not, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.